The day we're taking a look at these MLB matches, Milwaukee Brewers vs. Pittsburgh Pirates, Atlanta Braves vs. Washington Nationals, Cincinnati Reds vs. Philadelphia Phillies, Chicago Cubs vs. Miami Marlins and Baltimore Orioles vs. Boston Red Sox, which are happening on Sunday, August 15, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, over and under picks and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Milwaukee Brewers vs Pittsburgh Pirates. The Pirates aren't playing well at the moment and come into this game on an 8-game losing streak. They will try to put an end to their streak with a win over the Brewers, which will give them their second win in their last three games against Milwaukee. Milwaukee had mixed results on Saturday, getting dominated in the first game and grabbing a shutout win in the second game. That leads to Sunday's game to decide the series and see how things will look on Monday morning. The Brewers still have one of the best records in baseball and likely won't be taking their opponents lightly on Sunday. The Brewers have relied heavily on their pitching staff to give them a chance on a nightly basis, while the long ball has helped them on the offensive side of things. My betting advice for that game is to pick over 7.5. Atlanta Braves vs Washington Nationals. The Washington Nationals are currently in a rebuild and are looking to simply improve. Winning is a second thought for the team, but rebuilding and being better for the future is a priority. The Nationals are currently scoring 4.4 runs per game and allowing 4.8 runs per game. They are top 10 in the league in hits with an average of 8.4 hits per game. They are doing well, but are having a tough time converting runs. This is part of the rebuilding process however, and may take a while to fix. Atlanta won for the fourth time in five games, and the eighth time in their last 10 contests as they took the opening game of this series Friday night. The Braves entered Saturday tied for the top spot in the NL East with the Phillies. In the NL wild card picture, the team was five games behind the Padres for the second wild card spot. On Friday night, Dansby Swanson, run, RBI, and Travis Derno, run, RBI, each had two hits in the victory. Swanson, his 21st, Ozzy Albies, his 21st, Austin Riley, his 24th, and Derno, his third, each hit solo homers for Atlanta. Charlie Morton, 11-4, earned the win as he threw six innings, allowing two runs on six hits with two walks and seven strikeouts. Will Smith worked the ninth, allowing one walk, while striking out two, for his 24th save. My betting advice for that game is to pick over 9.5. Cincinnati Reds vs Philadelphia Phillies. Aaron Nola pitched four scoreless innings and struck out seven Tuesday against the Dodgers before a rain delay ended his evening. The delay robbed fans of what was shaping up as a truly outstanding duel between Nola and Max Scherzer. According to Basabalsavant.com, Nola got swings and misses on 13 of his 51 pitches before departing. He comes into this pivotal matchup with the Reds carrying a 4.35 ERA, 1.14 whip, with 159 strikeouts over 130 innings. For much of the first half and start of the second half, the Phillies have been in the middle of the pack in terms of offensive production. Coming into play on Saturday, they rank 17th with 137 home runs and 11th with a .319 on-base percentage. Reese Hoskins has provided punch in the middle of their lineup with 24 home runs, but is still hitting only .244 over 98 starts at first base. Expect the Phillies to trend up with the quality of their lineup and their acquisitions at the deadline, Kyle Gibson being one of them. This is a huge series with the Reds. Cincinnati won their second straight game and their eighth in the last 11 games as they took down the Phillies in the opening game of the set Friday night. The Reds entered Saturday second in the NL Central, 7.5 games behind the Brewers for the top spot in the division. My betting advice for that game is to pick over 8. Quick reminder, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Our first parlay for tonight. 
Chicago Cubs vs Miami Marlins. The Marlins followed up their five-game losing streak by winning their last two games. They will try to keep the momentum going with a win over the Cubs, which will give them their third win in a row and third win in their last eight games. Miami is averaging 4.05 runs per game. Their .238 batting average is 18th in the league. Their .305 on base percentage is 24th, while their .381 slugging percentage is 26th. Miguel Rojas leads Miami with a .275 batting average, while Jesus Aguilar leads the team with 21 home runs and 82 RBI. Miami's pitching is better than the team's offense. Opponents have a .236 batting average against the Marlins, which is 12th in the league. Their 3.81 ERA is 11th, while their 1.26 whip is 12th. The Cubs have been one of the worst teams in baseball since the All-Star break, having now lost 10 games in a row. The trade deadline seemed to take a lot out of this team, especially given that they shipped their three most prominent offensive threats out of town. They have a strong case for being the worst team in baseball as of now, and it seems that they have essentially given up on the season. The strong offensive threats that they have remaining are mostly dealing with injuries themselves. Wilson Contreras, Knee, Jason Hayward, Finger, and Nico Horner, Oblique, all remain out through Game 3. From a pitching perspective, they remain down some key relievers, and Adbert Alzale, hamstring, was just added to the injured list as well. Their offense wasn't great even with Chris Bryant, Anthony Rizzo, and Javier Baez, and they rank 22nd in runs per game, 28th in batting average, and 27th in hits per game. While well, they rank 12th in home runs per game, a majority of those came from the three traded players, and this offense looks quite a bit different than even just a few weeks ago. Over the last week, it has been Frank Schwindel leading the way, hitting .429 with two home runs. Rafael Ortega is just ahead of him hitting .450. While their strong week has been great, the veterans left in the lineup have struggled, and unless that changes, the Cubs will continue to struggle. My betting advice for that game is to pick over 7. Baltimore Orioles vs Boston Red Sox. Baltimore has been one of the worst teams in the majors all season, but it has somehow gotten worse over the last two weeks. The Orioles entered Saturday afternoon's game on a nine-game losing streak. They have been swept by Tampa Bay and Detroit during that stretch. Their losing pains continued with Friday night's 8-1 loss at Fenway Park. Boston scored four runs in the second inning and put it on cruise control from there. Baltimore currently has the worst record in the American League, and it has the second worst record in the majors, behind Arizona. Eduardo Rodriguez was solid in his previous start against the Tampa Bay Rays. He went 5.1 innings and gave up four hits, one walk, two earned runs, and struck out eight in a no decision. On the season, he has a record of 8-6 with a 5.24 ERA, 1.38 whip, and a 139 thirds KBB ratio in 22 games started. Opposing batters are hitting .272 off Rodriguez. The Red Sox pitching staff has been decent this season. They are in the middle of the league in ERA and runs allowed. Boston is bottom five in the league in hits allowed, whip, and batting average against. Giving up the long ball has not been an issue. They are top 10 in the league in home runs allowed. If they can continue to keep the ball in the park, they can limit the damage as their pitchers allow a lot of players on base. My betting advice for that game is to pick over 9. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.